Have you ever said something you regret? Something that you wish you could somehow take back or erase? Have you ever wished that your filter was dialed onto a higher setting so that you would not engage in communication that is hurtful or engage in communication that triggers conflict and confrontation? Most of us have been counseled to think before we speak, and yet some of us struggle with what to think. How do we engage in some self-monitoring so that we don't simply spit it out? I'm communication skills expert Pamela Jett, and I'd like to share with you two powerful questions you can ask yourself before you say something. These questions are designed to help you think before you speak. I'm very indebted to one of my clients who attended a workshop and shared these two questions with me. The first question is, is it true? Ask yourself, is what I'm about to say true? Or could it be based on some misinformation? Have I exaggerated? Do I have some misperceptions that I need to address? Because if something's not true, it is a poor choice to say it. Now this is deceptively simple because sometimes when we communicate, we tend to communicate something that is true in an untrue fashion. For example, we might use the words always and never. I encourage you to monitor your use of the words always and never. Always and never are rarely if ever true. For example, if you say to a colleague, you always leave bright green paper in the printer. That's not true. Watch out for always and never. Ask yourself, is it true? The second question is, is it helpful? Will saying this help the relationship? Will saying this help this individual? Is it something that can build them up or will it tear them down? Because if something is not helpful, it is probably a poor choice to say it. Now the challenge with this question is many of us struggle, myself included, with thinking we are being helpful when what we're really driven by is our need or our desire to be right. I love the notion of right versus effective. Ask yourself, am I driven to be right or do I want this person to be more effective? Do I want a better relationship? Strive to be effective. Ask yourself, is it helpful? And also ask yourself, is it true? These tools can help you think before you speak. I'm communication skills expert Pamela Jett, and I invite you to join me for my power-packed virtual programs in 2013. You can find more information by visiting my website, www.jettct.com, or you can check the schedule that is on this presentation. But I also encourage you to check out my learning resources available at my website as well. There you will find more information on how to communicate with credibility, influence, and how to communicate in a way that enhances employee engagement as opposed to decreases it. Again, I'm communication skills expert Pamela Jett.